welcome to part three of Getty Ready with me. For this look, I actually, let's see. Oh, oh, okay. So yes, I am still troubleshooting with my MacBook Pro to figure out how to upload still shots of this look. And I still haven't figured it out. I use an e.l.f. palette that I got from Target for $5. So I've had it for like five months. But um, I hit pan on the baby pink because I absolutely love it. It's actually what I'm using for my lower lid. Some of you may or may not like e.l.f. products. I happen to like e.l.f. products. And I didn't want to use any Milani shadows because I used it on my two previous looks. So for this look, this is an e.l.f. palette look. Um, and you'll see that on this uh, tutorial that um, I skip around. Usually I do like my foundation, then I do my eyebrows, and then I do the powder. But... When I start showing you the video, I've already done my foundation and my powder, and I don't do my eyebrows till after my eyeshadow. So again, I'm not a an expert. It I'm kind of like a, a moody makeup person. So it's like if I feel like doing my eyebrows first um, today, then I will. If not, I'll do it after. So I just kind of jump around. Sometimes I'll even put my lipstick lip products on and then I'll do the rest of my face. So it just depends, I jump around a lot. I do only fully get ready on Sundays because I'm going to church with my family. So that's where I'm more um, dressed up, hair and makeup. Um, so that's why a lot of my videos are on Sunday. I am gonna try and do it like um, a, like, makeup tutorial for like an everyday look because I do wear makeup every day kind of sort of to film Sundays um are when I actually wear like a full like face anyways I am just rambling on now but I hope you guys enjoyed this look if you haven't subscribed subscribe and if you have subscribe again wait can you do that I don't think you could do that <laughs> anyways enjoy this video and have a good weekend and I'll see you guys next time bye Moving forward, we are going to prime our eyelids with this e.l.f. eyelid primer. Now, if you're going to use brow powder for your eyebrows, uh, this is good to use also, but I am using a pencil, and so I am just going to put this on my eyelid, not my eyebrow. So, I kind of jump all over the place. There is no, like, set... Um, I don't do things in certain order, like, sometimes if I feel like I want to let my primer set, I will jump to my eyebrows, then I'll come back, or sometimes I will just jump right on in to my eyeshadow, which I'm going to do right now. So next I'm going to use this e.l.f. cream shadow, and I am going to use this lighter color right here and I'm just going to take my fingers and just put it on my lower eyelid I'm going to take this elf beauty book that I got for five dollars at Target so I'm going to take this flat brush, I'm going to take this flat brush and there are no names on this palette but I am going to take this like pinkish, this pinkish shadow right here, 
that I hit pan on. Obviously, I used it a lot. And I'm just going to take it on my flat brush and just apply it to my eyelid. With a fluffy brush, I am going to take this middle color right here. I'm going to start from the outside going in, so... I'm going to take the darkest color here, just a little, and I am going to put it right here in the corner V, like so. The other side. Now we need to blend all of this in. So with my fluffy brush, I am just gonna blend everything out. Now with my fluffy brush, I'm going to take the first color that we used up here and I'm going to put it up here by my brow bone. And then I am going to take a fluffy brush and just blend everything in so there are no lines. I think that is the worst thing you can do is have eyeshadow lines on your face there should be a law against that but we are just blending everything together totally forgot to do my eyebrows so I am going to do my eyebrows now. As you can see, my eyebrows are missing over here. So I am drawing them in to make them look like I have an eyebrow. And then if you want to brighten up your eyes, I love using this L'Oreal True Match. And I will just put some down here. Like I said, sometimes I will do this before, uh, before I put on my eyeshadow and stuff. But because I forgot and was going out of order, this is okay too. I should have did like a before and after picture so you can see the difference. Um, it, actually, we're gonna use this one today. And this, oh, what color is this in? Oh, this is in natural. This is super, super pigmented and comes with this cool nifty little light for whatever reason if you are doing your makeup in the dark that's a good feature to have but <laughs> this is super pigmented so I'm just like I just dabbed it a little bit
have one of these cool little smudge brushes. This is good also to just um, soften up, soften up these dark lines. this from Sally's I don't know I'm really not good with that so I'm gonna put on my eyeliner and I will be right back so I didn't purposely go for this dramatic winged eye look but it just happened to go that route and this is what it looks like eyeliner is a little bit tricky for me like I actually hold my breath when I'm putting on my eyeliner because I don't want my eyeliner to be like this <laughs> or like this like this you know what I mean but anyway so um, I'm just gonna put on mascara and then we are done oh we're gonna do the lip too let's see for mascara I am uh, so in love with this great lash by Maybelline drugstore of course and I am forever, ever, ever gonna never stop using this CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. Because I have no eyelashes, I need this. So I kind of use them together. I do, I do have like eyelashes and um, more eyelashes, but I don't know. I just, I feel like eyelashes are for more of like, um, if I'm like going out, maybe like to a wedding or how cute is this? This is um this is Kate number one oh three. Hmm. Ooh, that's a nice color. Here goes another Kate. I think I like this one better. This one. Liner in natural. Natural. Line my lips. I'm almost done. Um, so after I line my lips, I'm just going to use this number 14 in Kate. Looks like this. Um, and again, because I had so much color up here, I just wanted to do a nude lip. My blush is a little overwhelming, but you guys can't tell because the lighting doesn't make it look all. And um, I am just going to put on some Wet n Wild Lip Gold. Ta-da! Okay. And that's it. Yay!